Hi everybody, hope you're keeping well and hello and welcome to yet another exciting session of Revit brought to you by Katzen Technologies. Uh, here in this session we are going to discuss about the costing and estimation subject, I mean the, the area of costing and estimation in BIM and how it is performed in a BIM project using Revit Architecture 2014. Costing and estimation has always been a challenge for architects and designers all over the years to maintain a proper estimation and costing flow for the project so that the overruns can do not come in obstacle of completion of the project. Here in the BIM model, the estimation and costing are linked with the model and it is basically directly working with each and every model and keeps on changing and the dynamically with the changes in the model. That's the fun of the BIM. So it's very important for the BIM implementation specialist or a BIM manager or a modeler over here in order to put right values and right parameters to the building element for cost and other estimation factors. Now let's, in this tutorial we are going to see how we can perform an estimation and costing for a wall. So here in Revit we will create a wall schedule in which we are going to see how we can create an estimation schedule for a wall. Uh, to start up with the scheduling in this we, you can see this, uh, there is a ribbon over here, that's a 2014 ribbon. In the, uh, you go to the view tab, there is a schedules, uh, create panel, the schedules menu and take schedules quantity. So from the schedules quantity, uh, go for the cancel over here, in the, this dialog box appears and the new schedule dialog box appears. Now you have to ensure that the architecture checkbox is selected in the drop down list. Now, Go because we are creating a wall schedule over here. Let's say don't forget to take walls from the categories list. Now, after taking the wall, you have to name the schedule. For this session, I'm going to name the schedule as costing walls. Now, don't forget to uh, ensure that this radio button should be selected. Now, now press OK. Now, this schedule property dialog box appears once you are off with naming the schedule and taking the field here you need to first of all ensure what are the fields what are the parameters in the model for the walls you're going to take for the appearance in the schedule wall schedule so for this session I am going to take the area I am going to take the cost and I'm going to take the family so in the top I'm going to take the family and type that I'm going to sort according to that and with it next would be the area and the next would be the cost of the wall now this uh, area and cost are embedded in the wall along with its instance and the type parameters here next it would be something around calculating a new value you need to basically give an equation which is relating the two parameters to find the total cost per unit area so for that we need we choose this calculated value uh, button now let's say unit cost of wall now unit cost of wall the parameter is unit cost wall the so say select the formula radio button and say go for the formula area multiplied by cost per 1 sf so this is the formula that I'm going to give it for the unit cost of the wall. Now click the uh, sorting and grouping over here tab. Now here you have to take the sorting by the family and type and let's say we will go for the grand totals. Now in the formatting you need to basically format the values here to right. You can format the values to right. You can you know, go for the right. Now let's see how the appearance of the for, uh, schedule would be so now you can see that the family and type is sorted and these are the family and type of walls and then they have been the, the areas are given as precedent with the families and type and whatever you change in the value will reflect the unit cost of the wall. So here let's say I have changed the values to 12 so I find that for all the four and a half basic wall generate masonry that is basically the uh, type of the wall 
the cost is 12 and up for that the unit cost total unit costing would be 200 rupees or the dollars or yen or euro per square feet so this is uh, something very interesting now let's say i want to give some unit cost for the uh, let's say the parapet wall let's say the unit cost for the parapet wall is 12 dollars or 12 euros or 12 yen or 12 uh, any uh, currency so here we can see that apart from that the actual value of the cost comes it's very exciting in revit always to work because whatever you change here uh, if you have a change in the model let's suppose there is a change in the area of the wall it will definitely reflect the entire story now you can see the grand total over here i need the total of the cost over here so what i need to do is i go to the formatting i'll say i'll for the unit cost i'll take the calculate totals so here it comes now you can see the total cost of the wall has been given here at the currency hope you have enjoyed this video on your, uh, costing and estimation uh, for walls a simple video hope it will help you to uh, go to more beyond this and develop complex estimation and costing for building model in Revit thank you hope you are enjoyed you have enjoyed the video keep well keep good and thank you once again